Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Very well. Excellent, and how's your dad? Um, better. Um, he is still hospitalized right now, but um, has many changes, positive changes that uh, make me feel better and this is great. And um, well, waiting only for the uh, prescription of the doctor, and I'm waiting for the. Um, uh, better notices for the uh, few exams or tests that uh, they will be practice practiced today and uh, only waiting. All right. Well, I hope he gets better soon. So let's wait for that. And it's good that he is like improving. So mm -hmm. good luck. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much, teacher. And you, how are you doing? How are you? So doing? far, so good. Actually, it's Thursday, and is it was very hot. Oh. I don't know in your cities, but in my city was so hot, like a hell. <laughs> How about in Where yours? Where is your city? I live in La Paz, so La that Paz. department Zacatecoluca. is... No, it's, it's in a city named El Rosario. It's before you mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Zacatecoluca. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I so know. It's, it's this is my territory. Ah, okay. For sales. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, all all La Paz is very hot. Definitely. Very hot. Only a few of the municip municipios in the north side, uh, uh, San Pedro Nonualco, San Pedro San Antonio Mazahuas, San and the and the name with the Ostumas, right? Yes, the Those Ostumas ones Palmesa, are um, the um, uh, at, at the side of the lake. Um, yeah. I forgot the numbers. Right? Yeah, I don't know the names of those places, but yeah, those ones are a little bit cooler. But yes, but yeah, in the south the... side is very very hot. Yeah, I think that is because we are closer to the beach, so maybe. Yes. That's why. Yeah. So how about you, everyone? How was the weather in your city? Was it hot too or not? It was just in mine. This is <laughs> the, the names. Ah, yeah, that is the one. Yeah. Those are a little bit cooler. Yes, exactly. Very hot. <laughs> Very hot too. Carla, where do you live? In San Miguel. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so Carla, tell me the truth. Some people say that San Miguel is really hot and that's the the tradition. Everybody says, I know San Miguel is totally hot. I have the impression that Usulutan is even hotter, but what do you think? Which one is hotter? I think Usulutan and La Unión. Mm, because okay. La Unión is, un, is a weather como húmedo, ¿cómo se dice húmedo en inglés? Humidity Ajá. Ajá, weather en uh -huh. uh -huh. hot. I think too. It's, it's, the, it's the problem because they are near to the to the coast or, or the coastal line and then uh -huh. there's more, more humidity and you, when you sweat, oh my gosh, oh, yeah, the sweat is... Uh, I don't know how to say pegado. I, it's Stick. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But how about in San Miguel? In San Miguel, it's not like that? No, it's, it's hot. It's uh, hot. But not Hola? so hot. Hello? Mm -hmm. But today is horrible <laughs> yeah in my city too i mean i was desperate actually i was even um i was even drinking some beverage like uh, a sweet um, no <laughs> no like saline solutions you know serum when you are the uh, like kind of sick you drink those type of beverage right but my doctor said that it's when it's very hot, it's necessary to take them too, because water is just not enough. So 
Be careful, everyone. All right, let's see. Is anyone here from Usulután or from La Unión that can tell us if it is true that it's totally hot? No, nobody is from La Unión. Nobody is from Usulután. All right, well, welcome everybody. Let's see, let's see. I'm happy to see you. Only two people with the camera on. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Atilio. Very good. And the rest, everyone. Come on. We are about to finish. Imagine I will be with you only today and tomorrow and I won't see you. Come on. Imagine if I see you um, on the street or at the supermarket mm. or somewhere. I won't recognize you. I, I will recognize only Atilio, uh, Tony, but the rest of you? My gosh, let me see your faces. I can't uh, look the cam, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, on, on the bus. So... Oh, it's okay, Carol. No worries. If you are in the bus or if you are driving, totally understand. No worries. All right. So, everybody, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here and thank you so much for being on time. Today, we are going to continue with the topics that we have for this day. And just remember, everyone, we are about to finish just today and tomorrow if everything goes well. All right. And you are ready, right? for the next level. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes? Are you ready for the intermediate level? Yes? Only Tony says yes and the rest of you? Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Atelia? <laughs> Good. Yes. All right, excellent. So let's see, before starting, let me ask you, what were the topics that we studied during this level? Tell me the topics that you remember, uh-huh. But don't look at the notebooks, okay? Just tell me the ones that you remember. <laughs> oh my gosh, none of them. <laughs> I won't let you go to the intermediate level. Hmm. A simple. simple past, yes. Mm, past continued. Past continued. Okay, all right. Hmm. I used to, do, used to thank used you. To, I remember uh -huh. the use of could and would. Could, would, yes. Remember the unit one, the unit two. What else? Uh huh. Oh my gosh, no. Simple I'm going... present. Thank you, simple present. I think I'm going to tell the, the supervisors, you know what? They want to be on the level again. <laughs> the time expressions. Time expressions, very good. Uh-huh, anything else? Any other topics that you remember? Professions, no. Which one? Professions. Jobs and professions. Actually, we checked like a little vocabulary about that. Human resources, right? Administrative assistance. Mm -hmm. Schedules. Schedules, good, nice. Was and where? Was and where? Yes, definitely. So only that? <laughs> All right. Remember, we also checked some frequency adverbs. Remember when we studied the simple present, right? As, to, as Tony said, we checked time expressions, would and could, and also can and can't. 
So um, we check some vocabulary, as your classmate said. So everyone, listen, I know that you are going to the next level, but it doesn't mean that you won't review the topics never again. No, that's not the idea, okay? So it's important to always review, review what you study, okay? So you can learn more. It's not possible that you go to the next level. Imagine if the teacher says, what topics do you study in the previous level? And you are like, I don't remember. <laughs> so not possible, right? So please review the topics. Now we're going to start. Let me share the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes, excellent. Okay, so today is February 23rd. And we are about to finish a unit number four. Just a reminder of the platform. Actually, I want to congratulate you everyone because most of you already finished and most of you already got like 100 in the final grade. So super good job, very good, very good. Some of you uh, just need to complete the last exam, the final exam. So to complete the platform, some of you haven't finished um, the week number four yet. So please be careful, everyone. But most of you already finished. Most of you only need to finish the final test. So super good job, actually. I can see very good grades. So please, everybody, for the ones who hasn't finished, try to finish as soon as possible, okay? Try to complete the final exam, try to complete all the activities in the different units so you can have 100% in your score. Remember, the minimum is 80%, that's the minimum. But the idea is that you got 100%. Good, so uh, we will continue always studying simple past. Just no questions, info, um, information questions, but we also, we will practice something else today. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Class objective, participant, participant will be, be able to use was we're going to, to learn about past change plans. Very good. Exactly. So today, that's what we are going to learn. How to use was and we're going to talk about past change plans. For example, when you wanted to do something, but at the end, you didn't do that. So, um, oh, Tony, you want to check the platform again? Give me a second. Let me open your profile. The homework three. Is in 20% are and no, no, no. No, no, no. This is yours. Okay, okay. It's the number I four. Yes, yes. My. Luis. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, Tony, in your case, is missing only the unit four and okay. the last exam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's in correct. your case, no worries, no worries. In your case, Luis. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't appear. Oh my gosh. Nah. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, here you are. No, actually, you are fine. You already finished. Very good. So, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Love for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Anyone else who has doubts with the platform? No? Okay. So, let's continue then. Now, just to remember, Used to, yesterday we would talk about this. When can we use this verb? Do you remember? When? Como. Solia. Past ah. habits. Solia. Past Solia. habits. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So activities that we did in the past very frequently Currently, we don't do it anymore, okay? So this is the structure, affirmative, 
easy, right? So you just need to say used to and the verb in infinitive. If it is in negative, remember, you just need to use the auxiliary. Now, let's do a practice. I have here some sentences, right? And I want you to pick a number and complete the sentences. Look at this. I will give you the example. I'm going to pick the number one. Look, the number one says, I used to da -da 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 -da, at Christmas. So you need to complete the information, I mean, complete the sentence with your own information. For example, in my case, I used to watch the Grinch movie <laughs> at Christmas because that's my favorite Christmas movie. So how about you, everyone? Complete the sentences with your own information. Uh-huh. Christmas, what do you used to do? I used to eat recalentado at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Anyone else? I used to cook at Christmas. Very good. Okay. Who else? Mm -hmm. I, I used to eat uh chicken 10 chicken sandwich 10 <laughs> 10 chicken sandwiches okay sounds good sounds good okay Sa sandwich or salvadorian panes no sandwich sandwich uh, okay okay, okay. But <laughs> 10 <laughs> Okay, yeah. you, can say, you, you can say bread or chicken bread or a uh, bread filled chicken, like rellenos, okay? All right, sounds good. Okay, I'm going to pick someone and that person is going to pick a number. Let me check. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Celia, hello, Celia. I haven't listened to you. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Celia, pick a number, please. Three. Number three. Okay, complete the idea with your own idea. I used to drink leche. Leche? <laughs> yes, the meat for those sort Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, listen, everyone. <laughs> Some of you. Okay, you, Spanish. you, uh -huh. <laughs> listen, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, todavía, los puedo, todavía los puedo dejar en el mismo nivel, all right? So, no. <laughs> oh. be <Impossible>. careful, <laughs> be careful. Okay, so Celia, repeat the sentence, but full English, please. I used to drink milk. Ah, very good, very good. Okay, Celia, pick someone, please. A victim. Atilio? Atilio? Atilio. Okay, Atilio, can you give me a number, please? No. Uh, number seven. Number seven. Okay, complete the sentence. And uh, you to Flintstone. Okay, the full sentence, I used to watch. I used to watch the Flintstone. Ah, very good. Very good, very good. Atilio, I pick someone, Charlie please. Chappie. Ah, <laughs> that was a good one, too. Uh, I sing a... Luis Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luis Miguel. Thanks, thanks sir. Number 10. <laughs> Number 10. Number of that. Yeah. All right. I used to eat enchiladas. And what happens? You don't eat enchiladas anymore? No anymore. Why? 
gastritis. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good reason. Okay. So, pick ah, some. Someone... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Luis, pick someone. Mr. Jorge. Okay, Jorge. Anton. Thank you. Can you give me a number, please? Number five. Okay. <clears throat> Complete the sentence. You gotta learn English, my friend. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Uh huh. Jorge. Uh, I don't know. I I used to play um video games. Video games? All right. And a specific one? Mm, not really. All right. So look, Henry says Atari. <laughs> I used to play Atari. <laughs> but this is a console. What is the game? Uh huh. Do you have a specific game? For example, I used to play uh, Super Mario, right? The classic one. So, how about you? Do you have a specific name? Mayoras Mask Zelda. Ah, okay. Tony have... says Firefighters. Okay. But I, I'm not a daddy. I play Pac Man. Ah, okay. Very good. Anyone else? Uh, the girls, do you used to play another video games? Yes. Which one? Super Smash Bros. Okay. Uh -huh. And the king of fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you um, see, only the classic. Listen. All right, only the classic one. Mortal Good. It's for it, it's because we are old. <laughs> All of us, we are old, but we are the best generation. So don't say that you are old. You have to say, we are the best generation, <laughs> okay? Now, Jorge, pick someone, please. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Carla Sofia. Okay, thank you. Carla, can you give me a number, please? Number four. All right. Ooh. I used to buy tortilla, <laughs> soda. All school. right. Okay. <laughs> so in this case, we can say snacks, right? So uh, snacks. snacks and soda. Okay. Pick someone, please. Mm, no sé si está Abigail. Abigail, are you there? Bonilla? Abigail Bonilla, you mean? Yeah. Yes? Okay, give me a number. Mm, six. Six. I used to... How do you say echar tortilla? Uh, make tortillas. I used to make tortilla after school. Very good. Excellent. Everybody, can you make tortillas? Yes. Yes? Yes. Only Luis yeah. and, and the rest of you? Um, no. Yeah. Yeah, super yeah. triangulars, <laughs> DNA four, rectangulars, no. but not circular. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. 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 Exactly. Who do you see, Rodi Rodillo? On Rodillo. Ah, but that's not that's not the way. How would you say, uh, Swagger? Okay, el Rodillo <laughs> is like the roller. What do you say? Another one. Su Suegra. Mother-in-law. My mother-in-law teach me. 
<laughs> Tortillas, ampusas. ah, La very verdad. good, excellent, excellent. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Uh, with a roller o cómo sería cuando molde, no sé. What do you mean? Molde que pone la masa después del rodillo y Oh, después so no, you, por you, don't use, you don't use the mold. the mold, yeah. Okay, it's good. Only with my hand. So basically you are an expert. No, no, no. But I try. Good, all right, okay. Now, Abigail. Tenemos astillero for the weekends. <laughs> yeah, he has his business. <laughs> Is my next my next business. <laughs> so when you got the pupuseria store, we will go, right? <laughs> Tell All right. us and we will go. Okay, Abigail, can you pick someone, please? Mm. Vamos a ver, Henry. Henry, give me a number, please. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, I used to go to gym. <laughs> and, and what happened? Why I don't don't you go anymore? I don't have a time. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the I time. guess I, I stay in the class. <laughs> okay. It's totally Se valid. lastimó la, se lastimó la Yes. parte. <laughs> Yes, en la rodilla. <laughs> You, you got hurt? Oh my goodness. How can I say rodillas, everyone? Knee. Okay. Knee. Henry, pick someone. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Karen Rocío. Thank you. Karen, can you give me a number? Two. Number two, okay. I used to uh, homework on weekends. I used to homework or I used to do homework? I used to homework. All right, remember we need to add the verb. I, I used to do homework. I used to do homework Ah, on weekends. excellent job, very good. How about you guys? Tell me an activity that you used to do on weekends when you had more free time. <laughs> I know that now you are busy, so? Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> Ah, you have a free time. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's see. Karen, pick uh -huh. someone. You, Is the last one. you, you listen the silence <laughs> right now. okay, Karen, can you pick someone, please? Jorge Antonio. Okay, uh, I think that Jorge already participated, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Carol. Who? Carol. Okay, Carol, uh, can you answer? I don't know if she's still Yes, in the box. yes, Yes? yes. Okay, the last one is for you. Go ahead. Okay, I used to have, I, thought, um, I used to, was, was, uh, um, What type of toy did you used to have? Barbie, Ah, okay. Barbie, and um, pulsers, pulsers, rompecabezas, I don't know. Puzzles? Puzzles, Okay. um, BC, bike, Bike? bike, Bike? bike. Okay, nice, very good. And you, everybody, do you remember a toy that you used to have? Kings of the Zodiac. <laughs> okay, very good. I used to have a, a Tonka truck and Tonka tractor. Very good. Oh, and netball. Really? All right. Yes. Interesting. What else? Another topic? Uh, I have to draw too. 
Really? Uh, also, I can't remember the name, the grua in English. Trope. I don't. Like a grua. Crane. Right. You can say like cranes. Yes. Or tow trucks. Like, is it specific Trout. for that? For truck, yeah. Ah, okay. Tow Very... truck. Yeah. Tow trucks. Okay, nice. Very Actually, good. I, ha I have to. Do you still have it? Yes, I have to. <laughs> ah, very good, very good. Okay, everyone, that was the use of this verb, used to. Now, before continue, I need to check attendance. So you know what to do. If you listen to your names, please say present. Let's start with Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Present. Good. Atilio Ernesto. Present. Good. Um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. <coughs> Celia. Eh, Cristina. Present, Miss. Present. Carlos. Ok, Carlos, thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Good. Henry Alberto. I'm here, Miss. Excellent. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Good. Um, Jose Ezequiel. Jose Ezequiel. Okay. Um, Jose Antonio Elias. Juan Antonio. Present. Okay. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Good. Karen Rocío. Present. All right. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Present. All right. Kenya Elizabeth. Present. All right. Lady Xiomara. Lady Xiomara. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present. Nelson Orlando. Present. All right. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Good. Jan Siquelita. Present, Miss. All right. Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Enrique. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Very good. All right, everyone, let's continue then. Now, we already practiced get, uh, the verb used to. You know that is for activities that we did in the past, but we don't do it anymore. There is a verb that is very common, is very similar, but the meaning is totally different, is the ones that we are going to study right now. And is get used to. If you see, it's very similar, but in this case, we add the verb get. And now the meaning change. In this case, it's not yo solía, right? Now, in this case, the meaning is totally different. So what is the meaning? Get used to, how can we use that? This is for things. Exactly. So imagine that you are in the process, right, of becoming accustomed to. For example, you have a new job, you need to learn all the steps, all the procedures. So you are getting used to. This verb is not only for simple past. This verb, you can use it in different grammar tenses, in present, in past, in future, in the present continues, in the past continues. It's not only for the simple past, but right now here in the class, we are going to use it only in the simple past, okay? What is the structure that you need to follow? Always, you need the subject, of course. After that, you need the verb get, okay? Get with the verb used to. Tony, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, I didn't listen the 
meaning in Spanish of get used to. Okay, the translation is like acostumbrarse, right? Okay. It's like the process. For example, imagine that in your job, they say, okay, you have to be here at 6 a.m. So you say, my gosh, I need to wake up early every single day. So what happens then? Tenemos que acostumbrarnos that we need to get up early. So we need to get used to waking up early. So it's like the, the sun. Show me the meaning of being lonely. <laughs> what is that song for? I have never heard that. <laughs> Maxim. Uh, sad song. <laughs> ah, are the, but that is a sad song. Yeah. But yeah, you can use that one. Now, in this case, we are using in simple past. But you can use this phrase in simple present or in future yeah. if you want. If you want to use it in present, the only thing that is going to change is the verb got. Instead of saying got, we will say get. But the rest of the verbs is not going to change. For example, used to will be always used to. The ending always okay now what happens to the next verb the difference with used to and get used to is we don't have infinitive verb anymore what do we have here gerund gerund exactly so an example is i got used to Drinking coffee without sugar. What will be the translation of this sentence? Tomando café amargo. Ah, look, yo, in this case, it's, it's simple past, right? So, yo me acostumbré a qué? A tomar café. Without, uh, yeah. Exactly. So that is the translation. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got used to drink uh, drinking coffee without sugar. Can you tell me something? Can you tell me an activity that you got used to? Remember, in this case, we are talking in simple past. Uh huh. Tell me an activity that you got used to. So the structure, I got used to, and then remember the verb in ing. Give me examples, please. Mm -hmm. I tried. Go ahead. I got used to working to more um, loyal, loyal work. Okay, I got used to working how do you say eh, presión? <laughs> <laughs> Under pressure. Under pressure. Very good. That's a good example. So I got used to working under pressure. Very good, Henry. Who else? Tell me, everyone, another example, please. Mama, uh huh. Anything else that you got used to? Remember the verbs. I got used to drinking coffee in the morning. Very good. Only in the morning? No. <laughs> During the day. No, <laughs> no um, for Good example, night. a few minutes ago, I drink coffee. All right. <laughs> but, okay. uh, but in the morning is more more um necessary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I totally agree with that. So if you see super good job. Look, I got used to a simple past, and then the verb needs to be 
in ing. That's the difference with the phrase used to. Because with used to, we just say, ah, I used to work. I used to drink. But in this scenario, when we add got used to, remember, you need to add ing. Now, what happens if I want to say it in negative? It's very simple. The only things that you need to do is add didn't. But pay attention here, everyone. When you add didn't, the verb that is going to change is the verb get because it's in the base form, no changes. But the verb used to, what happens? Look, is the same, okay? That is something that you have to keep in mind. After that, I always need the verb in ing, always. Now, think about something that you never got used to. So tell me in negative, I didn't get used to, and again, the verb in ing. Tony, go ahead. I didn't get used to coffee without sweet bread. Okay. Drink, to drink coffee without sweet bread. Mm, sounds good, but Drinking, can I see? Exactly. Uh -huh, that's the one. Drinking coffee without sweet bread. <laughs> Very good. It, it, it's, it has to be together, a uh, <laughs> bread and coffee. Uh -huh. yes. Tell me. They burn. Um, I have another question. Go ahead. Uh, when you explain the use of, the use of got used of to with get used of to, it's a simple present. It's okay? Is, is this the, the correct form? All right. To start with, pronunciation is used to. We're going to say okay. use it. Used okay. to. Used to. So if you want to use it in simple past, you have to say got. Got. Got used to. If you want to use it in present, so you need to say get. get. Okay. But the word used to is the same. Okay. That's the okay. only okay. ones that is going to change is the verb get. Okay. Thank now. You. You're welcome. Uh, hi, everybody. Who else? Can you tell me anything else that you didn't get used to? Teacher. Oh, yes. I didn't get used to cooking turkey at Christmas. <laughs> All right. So you don't like turkey? Do you prefer Do you prefer chicken? You prefer hen. Yeah. Right. I I think the same. It has more flavor. I I think. So even look at these guys. This is the way that we can use that verb. It's very simple. Remember, get used to is totally different to the verb used to. They are two verbs, but they are totally different. Okay? The verb used to, to put it in, in a different or in a brief way, um, let me open up here. I'm going to show you another example. Let's see. Can you see the whiteboard that I'm sharing right now? Yes? Yes. Okay. So yesterday we studied used to. Used to, it's more for past. Because we are talking about past habits. Okay? So... The structure is subject plus used to plus infinitive verb. So that means that the verb is in the basic form, no changes. Okay? Oops, infinitive. Now, the difference with get used to is not only for simple past. 
You can use it in different grammar tenses. You can use it in present. Uh, you can use it in past, in future, in all the grammar tenses. Okay? And the structure is subject plus, get used to, and here is the difference. I need a verb like gerund. Okay? That means... A verb ending in ing. That's the difference. If you want to talk in past, because that is the grammar tense that we are studying right now, instead of saying get, because get is in present, we have to say got. Is it clear, everyone? The difference between used to and get used to? Yes, is it clear or not? A little bit? Yes, I think I can. Okay, everybody, is it clear? A little bit? Okay, let's do a practice. Uh, this is a very simple practice, look at this. I have here different sentences. Try to put the sentences in the correct uh, order, but try to use get used to. Look at the number one says, here, living to, we got used to. What would be the correct order? We got used to living here. Very good. If you see, look at the structure. We got used to verb in ing, living here. And look, we are using got because it's simple past. If we were talking in present, we will say get. So remember, we can use it in different grammar tenses. How about the number two? What will be the sentence? I didn't. Get to use feeling slowly. All right, again, I didn't use, no, get, uh -huh. sorry, get used to feeling low, lonely, lonely. Lonely. What is the meaning lonely. of lonely? Hmm. Anyone? Do you know? Hello. Exactly. That's the one. So in this case, look, didn't negative, right? So because I have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes anymore. But I always need ing. So in this case, what would be the translation, everyone? I didn't get used to feeling lonely. What will be the translation? Yo no me acostumbré a, a sentirme solo. Good job. That's the one. Okay. Volunteer for the number three, please. What will be Teacher. the sentence? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So my grandmother. Uh huh. Got uh huh. Sign. Staying, perdón. Staying. Sorry. Uh -huh. Staying at home. Okay. Look at this. Very good job. So, my grandmother um, got used to simple past. Staying at home. Always the next verb in ing. Good job. Volunteer for the next one, please. We... Uh -huh. Got used to uh -huh. working. Uh -huh. remodeling, remodeling. Very good. That's the one. Remodeling. For example, um, during the pandemic, right? <laughs> we started to work remotely. So at the end, we got used to working remotely. That's good. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Volunteer. 
My father get to. Okay, using negative. My father didn't. Uh -huh. Get. Used to. Uh -huh. Using. The internet. That's the one. Excellent. So. Be careful. If you see, I have the verb use again, but ing. Nice job. Volunteer for the next one, please. Me. Yes. Paul got uh -huh. used to drinking coffee without milk. Very good. That's the one. Excellent job. So look at the structure. We always had got used to, and then we got the verb in ing. Excellent job. Okay, who has the next one? Volunteer? Robert? Uh -huh. Yes. Get uh, used to. Didn't. Okay, in negative, right? Didn't. Didn't. Get Get used to uh -huh. working. Yes. Low hour. That's the one. Low hours. Very good job. Very good job. So remember, if it is in negative, we say get because the verb doesn't need changes anymore. And the last one, volunteer, please. Uh -huh. the, the children. The children. Okay. Event. Yes. Get used to. Hearing. Yes. The festival. More. Of more. Vegetables, that's the one. So if you see, that is something that kids never get used to, right? So the children didn't get used to eating more vegetables. Very good. Excellent, everyone. So if you see, this is a way that we can use these verbs. Is it clear? No questions? No questions. No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Okay. If you see, it's like a very easy topic. Now, complete the questions, please. We are going to answer here in the class. Volunteer for reading. Okay, Tony, go ahead. Would you get used to walking up early every day? Uh-huh, everybody, what do you think? Do you think that it's possible to get used to waking up early every day? Or not? For the ones who get up early every day, do you get used to or not? Um, the third stage is, is hard. But um, when you progress in the time, it's more easy. Do you think that is possible to get used to? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So imagine if you wake up at three at four a.m. every day. Do you think that your body got used to and says like? We automatically wake up at four and no problem. You don't feel tired. It's like fine. No, did you? <laughs> so, Jorge, you think that you cannot get used to waking no. up early? Um, no, but your body nearer the relaxed. I, I have, well, 24 years uh, working in, in, out for my country. Uh, I live in Santa Ana and 
the for the all these years I I um, wake up early every every day, but um, I think that your body always needed that relax. So you I, never never I, get used. Yeah, I. I always uh, wake up early, mm -hmm. um, include the weekend, but on weekend, uh, but for me it's necessary because I like it to run. Ah, all right. But then after the exercise, I take a relax in my house. All but, right. Yeah, but uh, every day I wake up early but my body and always needed the a little time for relax. Yeah. For example, <laughs> I I wake up at three or three thirty. Uh -huh. But when I when I go to to my work in the bus, I sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So some people can get used to waking up early, but for some others, I think that the body, as Jorge said, right, always needs to relax. Okay. Now, look at this one. Could you get used to living in the forest? Imagine everybody, right now, we we'll live like in the city, right? But imagine that some people said, you know what? You are no longer living in the city. You will live in the forest. Okay? So, no contact with a civilization so do you think that you could get used to living in the forest yes or no what do you think could you do that uh -huh, everyone yes or no no <laughs> No, I didn't get to live in, in, in the forest because I need the technology, the light, the water, in my, in my gripple, I know how you say gripple, um, the hot water to, to my shower in the morning. I don't know. I think that this is impossible for me. Yeah, we are very, uh, we, we needed all those type of things. Okay, um, well, let's skip the number three. Let's go to the number four because of the time. So complete the sentence, please, everybody. I will never get used to, hmm, what do you think? What is an activity that you think that you will never get used to? I will never get used to eat onions. <laughs> okay, but can I say it? or eating. Eating, eating. Ah, that's the one. I will never get used to eating onions. Hmm, interesting. Very good, very good. What about you, everyone? Complete the sentence. Tell me something that you think that you will never get used to. I will never get used to living without cell phone. <laughs> All right, living without the cell phone. It's a, it's a tool for work for me. And actually it's a good point. Mm. Just imagine your life tomorrow, you won't have cell phones. Oof, I think that it will be difficult. Uh-huh, who else? Teacher. Yes? I will never get used to dancing reggaeton. Ah, all right. Dancing reggaeton. Good point. Very good. Very good. Anyone else? Tell me an activity that you will never get used to. What do you think? Um, I will never get used to cooking. <laughs> so you don't like to cook? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice job. That is necessary. 
Totally, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, so everyone, just remember the main point here when we use get used to, don't forget that the next verb is in ing. All right? Now, uh, it's time, uh, Tony, tell me. If I need to say to, I will never get used to using rods, is correctly? Yes. Use it to using. Using, exactly. Okay. I okay. get, uh, in this case, just remember, we don't say you said, we say I'm get used, used to using. Mm -hmm. That's okay. totally correct. Very good. Okay, everyone, grammar already practiced. So it's time to practice listening. So everybody, microphones off. Take your notebooks. We are going to take this little practice. I have here again four conversations. I'm going to play the audio and I want you to choose the correct answer to each question. They are talking using the verb get used to. Okay, so pay attention everyone. Here we go. Conversation one. How's the new job? Good, but I'm still not used to the long commute. Really? How long is it? It's three hours each way. Give it time. You'll get used to it. I'm not sure about that. Conversation 2. How is the new computer? Okay, but it's hard getting used to the new operating system. Yeah, but it should be faster, right? Wrong. I'm used to my old keyboard shortcuts. These ones are different. Yeah, but you'll get used to it in no time. I guess, but for now, it's frustrating. Conversation 3. Have you ever worked overseas? Yeah, I worked in Japan for two years. Oh, really? How was it? Great but it took a while getting used to living there. Really? What was hard getting used to? Well, using chopsticks for one. Also, knowing how to interact with people. Wow, that does sound difficult. It was hard at first, but I got used to it eventually. Conversation 4. How's the new baby? Great, life couldn't be better. How are you doing on sleep? Good. I only sleep a few hours a night, but I'm getting used to it. I could never get used to that. People say that, but once you deal with it, it's not that bad. Says you. Okay, everyone, do you have the answers? Or do you want to listen it to one more, one more time? One more time. One more time? I have Five time more, please. <laughs> all the time. All the all the times. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Please, everybody, microphones off. Try to get like the keywords, the specific words that can gives you the idea what the correct answer is. Pay attention, everyone. Here we go. Conversation one. How's the new job? Good, but I'm still not used to the long commute. Really? How long is it? It's three hours each way. Give it time. You'll get used to it. I'm not sure about that. Conversation two. How is the new computer? Okay, but it's hard getting used to the new operating system. Yeah, but it should be faster, right? Wrong. I'm used to my old keyboard shortcuts. These ones are different. Yeah, but you'll get used to it in no time. I guess, but for now, it's frustrating. Conversation 3. Have you ever worked overseas? Yeah, I worked in Japan for two years. Oh, really? How was it? Great but it took a while getting used to living there. Really? What was hard getting used to? Well, using chopsticks for one. Also, knowing how to interact with people. Wow, that does sound difficult. 
It was hard at first, but I got used to it eventually. Conversation 4 How's the new baby? Great. Life couldn't be better. How are you doing on sleep? Good. I only sleep a few hours a night, but I'm getting used to it. I could never get used to that. People say that, but once you deal with it, it's not that bad. Says you. Uh -huh, everyone. How about now? Do you get the answers? Or one more time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm going to play it the last time. So just you can confirm if your answers are correct or not. Microphones off. I'm going to play it the last time. So everybody, I want to everybody try, please. Okay. This is a listening practice. So please, the idea is to everybody try to understand. Everybody try to answer the questions. Here we go. The last time. Pay attention. Conversation one. How's the new job? Good, but I'm still not used to the long commute. Really? How long is it? It's three hours each way. Give it time. You'll get used to it. I'm not sure about that. Conversation two. How is the new computer? Okay, but it's hard getting used to the new operating system. Yeah, but it should be faster, right? Wrong. I'm used to my old keyboard shortcuts. These ones are different. Yeah, but you'll get used to it in no time. I guess, but for now, it's frustrating. Conversation three. Have you ever worked overseas? Yeah, I worked in Japan for two years. Oh, really? How was it? Great, but it took a while getting used to living there. Really? What was hard getting used to? Well, using chopsticks for one. Also, knowing how to interact with people. Wow, that does sound difficult. It was hard at first, but I got used to it eventually. Conversation 4 How's the new baby? Great. Life couldn't be better. How are you doing on sleep? Good. I only sleep a few hours a night, but I'm getting used to it. I could never get used to that. People say that, but once you deal with it, it's not that bad. Says you. All right. So everyone, let's see the first questions. Does the woman think she will get used to the commute? Let's analyze vocabulary, okay? The commute. What is that? Do you know the meaning of that word? Public transport? Yes. Basically, that means to travel every day to a place. For example, in your case, some of you have to travel every single day to get work, right? So sometimes you have to uh, travel a long distance. So not only by bus, you can use your own car, but they means to the action to move, all right, to a long distance. So what do you think? Does she think that she can get used to it? Yes or not? Or she didn't say that? No, she does not. No, she does not. Correct. She says that she, she doesn't think she will get used to if you pick this answer, the letter B is correct. Very good. Now, number two, what is a woman having trouble getting used to? She ha she have the trouble at the new computer have the small keys. Okay. So do you think that is the letter A, the small keys? What do you the think? Small, the small keys. Okay. Everyone, do you have another one or do you have the same? What do you think? I think it's the letter B because he said 
uh, something about different keyboard. Yeah. Ah, actually, that's the correct one. Letter B. Yes, she was talking about the computer, right? That is totally different. But specifically, she said that the keyboard was different. Different commands, different shortcuts. So she didn't get used to that. Good. If you pick the letter B, extra point. Number three, what was hard getting used to in Japan? Letter A. Letter A, eating. Do you agree, everybody? I think that is letter C. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. And the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? The letter B? No. <laughs> letter B, reading. So in this sentence, we have different answers. I'm going to give you a key word. She mentioned this specific word, chopsticks. What is the meaning of chopsticks? Palillos de, ah. de madera para comer. Exactly. Do you see how Japanese people eat? They use these little chopsticks. So if she's talking about chopstick, so what is the problem about eating, reading, or nothing? Eating. Yes. So she has a different, well, she is not getting used to it with the chopsticks. So letter A is the correct answer. And the last one, what is a woman getting used to? Letter A, a. sleeping less. Sleeping less. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, that is the correct one. Very good job. So everyone, that was the listening part. I hope everybody tried to do it. If you feel that listening is difficult for you, remember, that's the activity that you need to practice more. All right. Any questions so far? Uh, questions? The people in this conversation is a negative, a, a, a perfect negative woman. Or, or <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. But the idea is that she speaks very fast. That's why I like this audio, because she speaks very fast. It's necessary, everyone, to practice different accents so you can try to develop your listening skills. Okay, now, if you don't have more questions about the verb getting used to, well, let's move on to something different. Now, we're going to check this topic always is related with the past, but now we're going to use this future in the past. That sounds a little bit weird because you say future, but in the past, I mean, that sounds weird, but is the grammar tense that we use every day, actually. In Spanish, this is very common. So how can we use future in the past? It's very simple. I need a volunteer for reading this, please. It's often, volunteer for reading. It is often used to talk about an intention or plan that didn't happen. Thank you. Pay attention here, everyone. We are going to use future in the past to talk about plans that didn't happen. Have you ever had a plan that didn't happen? Yes or no? No. Uh huh. No, never. Have you ever had a plan? Have you ever wanted to do something, but at the end you didn't do that? For example, yes. some people say, yo iba a hacer ejercicio hoy, right? Pero al final, no lo hice. Or imagine last year, ay, yo iba a comprar esto. But at the end, you didn't. So those are plans that at the end didn't happen. Reduce my weight. Okay. But at the end, imagine that was a plan. You have the intention but later didn't happen. So how can we use that? Pay attention here. We are going to use the verb to be in past, of course, 
Then we are going to use going to and then the infinitive verb. For example, I was going to travel. What am I saying here? What will be the translation? I was going to travel. What do you think? What will be the translation? Yo iba a viajar. That's the one. Yo iba a viajar. Okay? I had the intention. That was my plan. But what happened? But look, they didn't approve my vacations. So at the end, the plan didn't happen. Okay? Look at the sentence number two. She was going to run, but it started to rain. Can you give me the translation for this sentence? Ella iba a correr, pero comenzó a llover. Good job. Exactly. And look at the next one. We were going to have a drink after work, but the boss made us stay. What am I saying there? What was the plan? Uh huh. Translation. Yo iba a beber después de, de trabajar o, o al terminar mm -hmm. de trabajar. Nosotros íbamos a beber hoy, sí, a beber yes. después de trabajar. Pero el oh. jefe nos arruinó todo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, right. In this case, imagine the plan was going to drink something, but didn't happen, all right? So that is future in the past. Remember, you had a plan, you have an intention, but at the end, no, you couldn't do that, okay? So remember the structure. I need the verb to be that you can use was or where depending the subject, then you need going to, and then the infinitive verb, all right? Now, if you want to say the sentence in negative, it's exactly the same. The only things that you need to add is the word not. For example, mm, I wasn't going to buy a new cell phone but my father gave me the money, okay? So you can use it in negative too, no problem. He wasn't going to pass the subject, but he got a 10 in the last exam. Or the last one, they weren't going to study, but we need a good score. So look, if you want to say the sentence in negative, you just need to add the word not. So that is the way that we can use future in the past. Remember, this is when you have an intention, you have a plan that at the end didn't happen. Is it clear, everybody, the way that we can use the future in the past? Yes? A little bit, 50-50? Okay, let's do a practice. I want to everybody participate. Um, let's see, let's jump this exercise. Look at this one. I have here different sentences, different plans, and I have here the reason why that plan didn't happen. For example, I was going to get married on Saturday. Hmm, but... It, it didn't happen. So why? Why do you think what was the reason? I was going to get married on Saturday, but what happened? But now she's decided to come. Okay, but now she's decided to come. Do you I agree? Know. I think she's wrong. 
Okay. Any other idea? Hmm. But it's raining all day. <laughs> okay. But I forgot. But... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay. Remember, be careful, be careful. Look at the subject. Okay, so I was going to get married, but I forgot. Mm, but how about the letter F? But my fiance ran off with someone else. Ooh. Don't you think that that's the one? <laughs> so, look, this is what we are going to do. I want you to read these sentences, okay? I want you to check the beginnings and I want you to match it with the ends, okay? So we are going to have this activity, but you can do it online. Look at here. I got here, you just have to write the letter. For example, in the number one, if you think that in the number one matches with the letter C, okay, write the letter C. And in the number two, blah, 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 ah, I think that is the letter A, okay, write the letter A. So at the end, you just click in finished and check the answers. And you will see if your answers are correct or not. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, very clear. Very good. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm going to send it here uh, in the chat on Zoom, okay? Let me send it. Okay, I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. I'm sending it here on Zoom, okay? In order to do it faster, because we don't have a lot of time, we are going to do it in teams. And let's see which teams finish uh, first. And let's see if you got 10. Okay, the idea is that you got 10, of course. Read carefully, everyone, okay? So, everybody is ready? Yes? Okay. So let's go to work, everyone. Please remember during this practice, don't speak in English. Okay. The idea is full, full in Spanish. Spanish. I'm sorry. No. Don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't speak Spanish. <laughs> if there is a sentence that maybe you don't understand, if there is a word that is not so clear for you, you can ask your classmates, but don't translate. Try to explain. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I can see different people that are listeners. I don't know exactly um, if all the people that says listener are really listeners or if you are going to practice, but please everyone try it. Okay. Is, we don't have more days for this class, only today and tomorrow. So try to practice. Okay. Let's go to work, everybody. And don't forget to check your answers. You can share sharing the, the, the screen. Yes. Okay, let's see. So here we have Carla. Carla is going to participate. Henry is going to participate. Very good. Uh, Luis, are you going to participate? I try. Excellent. Very good. Who else? Kenya, could you participate? No teacher today, I can't. Okay, very good. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Okay, everyone. So we got Carla, Henry, and Luis. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, so go to try to answer this, uh, to make the match, the yeah. correct match with the different sentences. Okay, everyone, uh, before I continue, I just want to see who is going to participate here. I got Tony, I got Karen. Lady. Lady, will you participate? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Um, okay, continue, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
And when I read in the first sentence, I was going to get married on Saturday and my partner say, but my fiance ran off with someone else. I don't understand what is fiance, but um, checking the translator. Hi, Miss Elia. Fiance is like my my boyfriend, but in a different uh, level. Uh, is like my uh, I don't know my boyfriend when I going to marry it with my girl girlfriend or boyfriend when I go to marry it with him or her or with his him or her him or her and I. Little, little, hey. Hey. Okay, <clears throat> sorry everyone. I just want to see who are the ones that are participating in this team. So I have Atilio is participating. Yes. Jorge, Juan, yes. Abigail, can you participate? Yes. 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 Carol, yes. could you participate? <clears throat> no, miss. Okay, no problem. Okay, everyone, continue, please. Thank you. Okay. Number five. Number five. We were going to go to the concert on Friday. Their age, but when I found to book, there were no tickets left. But when I found the book, yes. there were exactly age. I wasn't going to tell you this. Little deep. Yes, little yes, deep. literally. But now I think I think it will be better if you knew about it. Yes. 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 Uh, she wasn't going to go to the party next Sunday. I but yes, but now she's decided to come. Yeah. I I was going to email you about that. But I forgot. But I forgot that. Oh, no, 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 is it true number three? Yes. I was going to email you about that. Oh, I was going to. Four. Number four. Four. Number four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were going to concert on Friday. Yeah. In this case, but I forgot. Number C. Uh, with letter C. Excuse me. I wasn't going to tell you this. <laughs> No, number six. This is if, number C. I forgot. If, no, letter C. <laughs> letter C. And number five is we're going to go to concert on Friday. And number six is letter C. Number six is letter C. Yes. Yeah. I think so. We were going to go to the concert. Yes. Is 
A. Five is A, but we run out of money. We don't have money. She wasn't going to go to the party next Sunday, but now she decides to come. No. Come, uh-huh. Or no. ever, letter E. I think no, but then I was going to email you about that. I was going to email you about that. Mm -hmm. Is D. Ah, no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. She wants to, I was going to imagine you about where oh. number nine, I think, is J. But then, how oh, can okay. the number 10? Yes, yes. Number B. 10. Yes, B. Yeah. Number and A. The less what's the le, the letter O fal Qual e letter C. No, no, no. Letter C. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B fal Letter D, don't use. I think number. I I think the number three is D, and number eight is E. 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 And D. Yeah, I think with zero, let's do it. Finish. Be positive, come Finish. on. No my, my boss, Henry, say I'm no good in anything because i Moreno. <laughs> Henry, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, are you sure that those will be your answers? Those will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Finish and check fire, your answers. Fire Morning. 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 <laughs> <laughs> let's do it, Carl. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Now look at this. I, I was checking. I was checking the ones that says um, we were going to the concert on Friday, and you put the letter A. But we ran out of money. Actually, it makes sense. You know, it's not so bad. But if you want to go to a concert, what do you need? Tickets. You need tickets. So Bye. what happens? Look at the letter H. But when we uh -huh. found to book the tickets, so no more tickets less. All right. So that was the answer there. And well, you got some of them too. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Because when in the number four, we were going to go to France as well as Spain, but they need tickets too. <laughs> yeah that's a good point that's why i say when you picked a that option does it make sense too right so in that case i can give you like <laughs> half of point no worries does it make sense too yeah. but yeah that's that, the it... reason why I, we are so <laughs> ah yeah sure <laughs> all right no problem i will check another groups and uh, uh, let's see then we are going to go back okay uh, Okay. Don't speak in Spanish, please. And stay in the house. Wow. And, and, and I say, and I say, really? Yeah. And send me a picture. 
and and it have a one month i think a, a one month and and send me a picture and and my surprise uh, was uh, the other black cat okay because we have we have uh, in this moment we have a uh, a fierce one yeah and and i said really son yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Right now we have two black cats. In the house. Two black cats. Okay. <laughs> All okay. right, everyone. Talking about cats. Uh -huh. Yes, because we saw a, a little cat walking <laughs> behind Jorge. Yeah, I always watch the the cat behind Jorge. I always <laughs> I love it. Yes. Um, I have I have a black cat and actually I have a black dog. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. You got 10. Yes, Very good job. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'm going to check only one more team and then we're going to go back to the main room. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, team, everybody already finished. You are the only ones who are missing. G. F. H. G. G. J. F. No, Anna is there. No, F already is there. <laughs> but, then, but then I got a new job. J, letter J is missing, guys. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure that this one is the correct letter. <laughs> okay, but we don't have more time, team. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, Check your okay. answers, please. Walk along. <laughs> oh my god <gosh>. ah. <laughs> okay i mean it's not a 10 but it's not a zero so it's the first ah, good <laughs> it's, zero. Okay, it's, okay, oh my god. it's good come in the correct answer for the letter three it and is. eight <laughs> and nine Okay, yes. let's see. In the number three, it says I was going to phone him last night, right? Mm -hmm. huh? But I got home too late. That was ah, my yes. answer. Mm -hmm. And in the number mm -hmm. eight, I was going to email mm -hmm. you about that, but I forgot. <laughs> uh, okay. So if you see, actually, those sentences that makes sense because if you say, ah, I was going to phone you last night, but I forgot. So that makes sense too. And the number nine, um, we were going to move, we were going to move house. Uh, yeah, number nine, right? I cannot see her, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we weren't, it's in negative. We weren't going to move house, but then I got a new job. That was the letter J. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go back to the main room, please. Let's go back. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Let's go back. We are going to wait for everyone. Okay, easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh huh. I know that in some cases there were more than one possible answer, right? You were doing great. I saw a team, they got 10. Only one team got 10. Very good. Congratulations. So you see, no hay amaño, right? Everything is clear totally honest. <laughs> All right, super good, everyone. Now, I want you to continue talking using future in the past. So, but before the speaking practice, I want to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, say present. So Abigail Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia, are you there? Okay. Um, Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. 
Carlos Alberto. Ok. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Right. Henry Alberto. I'm here, Miss. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Ok. José Ezequiel. Ok. Juan Antonio Elías. Present teacher. Ok. Juan José Herrera. Present. Ok. Karen Rocío. Present. Good. Carla Sofía. Present. Ok. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Ok. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. All right. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Ok. Nelson Orlando. Present. All right. Sandra Abigail. Stephanie Michel. Um, Jen Siquelita. Present. Ok. José Marvin. Present teacher. And Edwin Enrique. Ok. Now, let's continue, everyone. I want you to talk. So, I have here three simple questions. And I wanted to think about those plans that you made had, but that you couldn't do that, okay? Plans that you had the intention, but didn't happen at the end. For example, look at the first one. What were you doing? Eh, what were you doing? Sorry, what were you going to do last year? Think about last year, everyone. All the plans that you had, but that you didn't. Can you give me an example of something that you wanted to do? And remember, when you answer, I want you to use the structure. For example, ah, last year I was going to tell me the activity and then tell me what happened. Ah, but I didn't. Really? really? Okay, yeah. look at this. I was going to get married, but I didn't. So why? You had to explain, but I didn't uh, because of the money or because of the weather or because of my job or because of her. I don't know. So always try to give the reason. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes. 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 So tell me the full structure I was going to. Don't say just uh, exercise. No. Tell me the full sentence. So again, I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group, so you can keep it there. And please, everyone, I don't want to have so much, I mean, so many listeners. I want you to practice, okay? So let's go to the groups and everybody remember zero Spanish, only English. Let's go to work. Where is the Spanish? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. What were you going to do last year, but you didn't? What were uh, I lost? I I going to lost weight. Wait. I was Wait. going to lose. Remember, very yes. infinitive. I was going to lose weight. Okay. Because I. I was going to do exercise. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, the last year I was going to run every day, <laughs> but I couldn't because <laughs> the time. <laughs> I didn't okay. have time to do that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, the next. What were you going to do in 2020 or, or 2020, but you couldn't because of the pandemic? I going to travel but the again in, in the first question like for example i i was to going to travel but i can't because my wife didn't vacation so my wife didn't have vacations okay okay very good and the second question what were you going to do in 2020 but you couldn't because of the pandemic and for example in uh, i i was participate in a competition in Guatemala City, but uh, I I didn't go because of the pandemic is canceled this event in Guatemala in this year. Okay, I was going to participate. Don't forget the word going. I was going to participate. Okay, super good. Next, please. I was going to buy a shoes, but I have a pay a phone invoice. Mm -hmm. All right. In my case, um, the fair question, um, I am going to do exercise. I was, I was going to exercise. Uh -huh. I was going to exercise, but uh, I came stressed. All right. Early. All right, okay. And the question two, I, uh, I was uh, going Work. I was going day. to work. To work uh, every day, normally. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't do that. All right. Uh huh. I. Te puedes aprender Learned. Learned. Uh huh. I was learning. Uh, I was drive. going. Going. Dry. Drive. Drive. Uh huh. And my car. But uh, didn't not a uh, auto. Bus. Bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next. Um, hey. Oh, sorry. Let's okay. Do it. do it, Karen. Um, I gone. I was going to. The war. In sweet. So you didn't work. This week? Mm, I stick flu. Oh, you got sick. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you didn't work. 
No. Ah, okay. So that's a good sentence. I was going to work, but yeah, I got work. sick. I got sick. All right, cool. Okay, who's next? <clears throat> then the number one, I was going to get travel to Spain. But I didn't because I bought my house. But that's the pronunciation. I bought my house. I bought my house. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to get to the Kiss concert, but I didn't because the coronavirus was <laughs> pretty sad. Uh huh. And three. What were you going to the week? Ah, este quiero ver. Quiero ver. I, mm. I, let me see. I was going to get a, a general meeting with the this distri distribute. Where did you say distributor? Distributors. Distributors. But we didn't because we, we don't have a time. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Abigail, did you answer all the questions? Okay. Go ahead. I was, I was, sorry. I was going to dance on weekend, but I had COVID. <laughs> Um, we were going to go to the cinema today, but it is closed. Only that. All right, very good, very good. Excellent job, everybody. Just don't forget the structure. We always need to say the verb to be, then the word going to, and then the verb in infinitive. I was going to travel. I was going to work. I was going to buy, okay? Don't forget the structure. I'm going to check only one more group and then we're going to go back to the main room. You can continue asking different questions or talking about failure plans, but only in English, please. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, perfect. Because, because I have a family emergency. emergency. Oh my God! Yeah. But your family is all good right now. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. And you, Carla, what were you going to do this week? But you didn't. Um. I going to. I was going. I was going. Good. No, what's it? I got used to. I got used to go going to San Salvador, but the event was canceled. Canceled, okay. Uh, canceled. The and event was canceled, okay. We we had the hotel, uh, the hotel, but <laughs> been canceled. Um, is big. And it was being cancelled. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Uh, what? And in my case, um, this week, um, I was going to work, um, all the days in different departments uh, and travel to these departments, but I didn't because my father wasn't hospitalized and uh, he needs to to uh, he, well, he, he needs so much things, but uh, principally, uh, to be stay with him uh, and to 
take different um, decisions of exams, tests, or, or treatments for her health. This, but okay. this is fine. Um, a little bit. Uh, he's still hospitalized right now, but um, he is better in different uh, grades. But this is not out, out, uh, automata. Out, no. Um, he can do it by herself. Something, uh, things like. Stand up and still stand up. Uh, hey, he doesn't talk very well, and he has very much time sleeping. And this is the reason because the. All right, time's up. Time's up. Let's go back, everyone. Okay, let's wait for everyone. Let's go back, let's go back. How did you feel the questions? Easy to answer or complicated? What do you think? Uh-huh. Easy to answer? Yes, no, 50-50, mm, what do you think? 50-50. 50-50, okay. And the rest of you, everyone, how did you feel the questions? Easy, difficult? 50-50. 50-50, okay. Now, you are giving details, so that's good. But just don't remember the structure, okay? We are using was going to, and don't forget that next verb is in infinitive. Now, something curious catched my attention when I was listening to some groups. I know that we are talking in simple past. We already practiced the regular verbs. We already practiced uh, the pronunciation, but I'm listening to verbs saying called, worked, canceled, Finish it. My goodness, is that the correct pronunciation of those verbs? Uh, I'm not going to, to. I'm not. Uh huh. I'm not going to let you go to intermediate level. Everybody, be careful. That is the topic that we have been practicing during this day. So, what is the pronunciation of this verb? Can I say cold? Cold. Ah, cold, cold. Can I say canceled? No. So? Canceled. Canceled, canceled. Can I say finished? Finished. Thank you, that's the one, finished, finished. So, hospitalized, or what would be the pronunciation? Hospitalized. Uh -huh. Hospitalized, hospitalized, okay? So, everybody, please, be careful with the regular verb pronunciation. I mean, tomorrow I will have to ask you the pronunciation again. No, so <laughs> be careful or at the contrary, welcome to the model six again, <laughs> okay? I won't let you go to the oh, intermediate fine. level. Or yeah, right, why not? <laughs> okay, no, 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 I... I really want you to go to intermediate level, everybody, but please practice. So very fast, I need a volunteer. Can you tell me what were you going to do in 2020 or 2020, but you couldn't because of the pandemic? Tell me everyone, volunteer. 
only one, please. Imagine, and you want to go to intermediate level. Everybody in the intermediate level, you will go to talk, talk and talk. Uh -huh. Question number two, volunteer for answering. Si no, no, no vamos. Aquí vamos a estar. <laughs> I was going. I was, I was. I was going to get to the king's concert. Aha! Uh -huh. And what happened? Pandemic well, appears. I I didn't because the coronavirus was here. All right. Okay, Tony. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> Corona. Tony, what were you saying? I was going to uh, travel in my second honeymoon with my wife. Wow. Uh, the anniversary, but the corona the coronavirus was here. Where were you going? Uh, to the US. Good. Okay. And Atilio, you were saying something. Uh, um, I was going to travel to Europe. To wow. Spain. Excellent. But Coronavirus. <laughs> coronavirus, coronavirus. <laughs> okay, so. I can't remember the screen. <laughs> okay, that's the way, everybody, that we can talk about plans that didn't happen. Okay, was going to. Now, we don't have more time. The person who was the winner to stay today is not here in the class. So we don't have winners today. So, everybody, don't forget to finish the platform, the ones who haven't finished, and the ones who haven't finished or taken the last exam. Do it, please. The idea is that for tomorrow, all the platform is done. Okay? So, everybody, any questions before leaving? No? Practice no. the regular verbs, please. Tomorrow, we will talk about it. <laughs> okay, everybody, good night okay. and see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Uh, good night.